These days, data is everywhere. I think statistics um, is a way of seeing things. So it's not really a subject per se. It's more um, a way of looking at the world, a way of looking at things. In certain ways, statistical thinking is, is a bit unnatural. Um, Louis Wolpert had this phrase of the unnatural nature of science, I think it was, which was basically saying that we humans are sort of trained to reason from anecdote and memorable experience. Small things, you know, we see something that strikes us particularly dramatically, we think that's a fact, that's a regularity, that's something more than um, what it is, which is just the one thing. Statistical evidence is the accumulation of many observations and the regularities that you see only if you look at the many. Um, and the more you see that in your own work, my work as a statistician, you, you see on the one hand how clearly those regularities, the big picture comes through from such data and only such data. And how it also allows you to sort of see the exceptions for what they are, see, see the sort of both the signal and the noise and not to be misled by the noise or the, the, the memorable um, single exception. Okay, when you are very young, you, you learn how to read, how to write. Somehow learning about statistics, statistic, it's, it's, it goes beyond statistical method. It's really an approach. Uh, I see this really as an approach rather than a collection of methods. And, and this, this really gives you a perspective to look systematically uh, at, uh, at problems, at questions. Um, so that kind of experience, thinking about the world, thinking about evidence, is something that doesn't come naturally. People don't are born with it. And it is one of the things that comes when you get trained in statistics. And once you've got it, it's an incredibly useful skill, useful way of seeing the world. Statistics um, takes uh, the numbers that you have, all available data, and summarizes them into uh, fewer numbers which are easily digestible by the human brain. We can think of it as the, the science of data analysis. So it's about getting insight from, from data plus transforming it into action. So the action could be different kinds of things depending on the application context. Nowadays, when most people think about statistics, it's, it's, it's about not sampling the whole population, but taking a subsample, inferring something about the whole population from a small uh, group of randomly selected people. Uh, this took a very long time for, for people to, to accept that, that this, this was actually uh, valid, that you could say something about a population by just uh, sampling uh, 1,000 people. We are trying to use numbers to give meaning to real problem. And so having a quite well-defined problem is the starting point. And then the statistician comes in to actually help to design the whole study to collect the data. And so the validity of the data, uh, the reliability of the data is very important. Um, so it's a quite a huge uh, task. Uh, it's not just about looking at numbers. It's what those numbers actually really mean, if they ever mean anything. Statistics is a huge, huge field. So you go from like social statistics or time series, which can be quite applied. And then my areas is more in, in probability and the mathematical side. And so the last two decades or so, there's been a huge increase in mathematical tools in probability to investigate things in economics and, and, and insurance mathematics and financial mathematics. Uh, inevitably, that's going to bring uh, in both theoretical and practical considerations. So all of these statistical methods that we employ are grounded in probability distribution theory. So very theoretical, arguably abstract stuff to, to, to some people. But the um, applied statistical methods you know, the, uh, need that bedrock of, of that theory. 
And then it's all about uh, getting data and um, uh, analyzing it and using this to answer questions about the world, be it in terms of economics, finance, which stocks to buy and what's the optimal portfolio, uh, be it in terms of uh, public opinions and attitudes on something. So the applications are, 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 are numerous individual person is completely unpredictable and, and statistics can't say anything really about is this person going to that or that all they can say well on average we expect this will happen and the beauty of statistics is that if you usually take a large enough group of people you can predict really well how the outcome will be uh, overall in this in this group of people the advance of computing power we're collecting more and more data um, and we just now lack sufficient people to, to analyze it. The issue is that there's so much data now, if you look at social media, uh, targeting or advertising, uh, if you go into a booking of a flight, there's all this data that's being collected. I think they said in the last um, uh, two years, the amount of new data, that digital data which had been collected, was more than in the history of humanity. And if you just sort of extrapolate that trend, I mean, there's just, um, you know, too much data. This requires a way of handling this quantity of information, so, but also a way of sorting out the information. What matters is, is essentially the questions you're asking, what you are looking for, as it were. What is your question? What, what does an answer look like? What parts of the data give you an answer? Things of that kind, which are even more important when you have vast volumes of data. It requires a lot of uh, techniques and tools to be able to analyze this uh, properly. Not only in the sense that we have to write new software to cope with the computer power and the big data, but we also have to develop theories that uh, go behind it. This will also make create advances in statistics. So it's not like statistics is something you plug in and you your glasses and then you see the world through the statistics glasses. It's something that is an evolution as well. So I have no worries about statisticians being out of a job in the, in the world of lots of data. Indeed, they have, that by definition means that they have more work to do than they used to. So it's the one uh, discipline area where there's you know, huge career potential. I think this is, uh, this is the beginning of, of statistics in a way. It engages a lot with a lot of other disciplines and every other discipline has its own complexities. And that's where the problems, you know, come from. They don't come from statistics. Whatever discipline you, you take, they're going to uh, come up with theories, hypotheses about you know, how the world works. And that's all well and good, but you, um, anyone can make a theory or a claim about anything. The important thing is, can you provide real world evidence to, to back up and to support that claim? And that's really where statistics comes into, uh, comes into its element. So one should really think of it as a discipline which can be used to support other disciplines in their research methodology. Statistics has really no right to exist unless it's used. Pure mathematics, for example, does have a right to exist, even when it's not used, and even that one eventually does get used. But statistics, because it's this tool-building discipline, if it wasn't meant to be used, if it, the tools we develop weren't meant to be used by others, then there would be no point in creating them. That's what makes it for me very interesting, is because you can actually bring into the subject so many different other subjects. The idea that you come with a real problem that will have some kind of real implications to everyday life. And then, you know, you need to think how you're going to actually answer questions for that particular problem. And it, it, it's really interesting to work with somebody from another discipline because you, the first thing you need to do is to agree on what is meant by what. And you, you don't realize how far the terminology is important, how basic you need to, to go back to in order to really make sure that you, you have in mind exactly the same thing. Every single problem when you talk to a student or you know, a professional from a different discipline is different. And I think for me that's quite fascinating because it never stops. You know, you think you know kind of a few techniques and you can apply them on different problems. Then you speak to someone who gives you new problem, new data, and you realize, oh, now I have to think of that angle of the problem too. So then I have actually to expand my knowledge on that and see how I can combine things. And that's what I always found interesting and challenging. And sometimes I always think, oh, maybe I don't really know enough yet.
which makes it actually, you know, want you to keep doing it. Because you always feel you don't know enough. It is important to love it. If you don't love it, then you are not going to do it as well as if you love it. When I said, for example, that um, statistics has to be applied in order to be to have a right to exist. And that doesn't mean that every statistician has to do both of those kinds of work. One needs to distinguish, say, foundations of statistics and data science, which is just really developing new methods. And, say, on the other hand, you have application of those uh, in the context of economic and social sciences or systems. Sometimes, even in statistics, we start with something that we think will be applicable rather than applied, and uh, it works. Many people work mostly or entirely in the theoretical end, the tool building end. Many people work more or some entirely in the, with others on the app applied side of statistics. So again, that's part of the richness of the field. So when you, when you get into it, you may not need know at the beginning as a, as a student what will appeal to you. Um, you may discover that what particularly appeals to you is, is the uh, working with data, the data analysis, working with others, using the methods. Or you may discover that your, what appeals to you is the statistical theory, the mathematical end of it. Um, either one is fine, because the, the, the discipline, the profession covers both ends. It changes how you see the world. <laughs>